Thanks, Ross, and a very warm welcome from the Bob Jane Stadium for the Round 11 clash for the Vodafone Cup between the home team, South Melbourne, and the Bulleen Zebras. A very important game for both sides. South Melbourne last week suffering a defeat in the hands of Oakley by two goals to one, and the Bulleen Zebras having a nil-nil draw with Altona Magic. And it's uh, South Melbourne keeping possession in these early minutes of the game. Of course, uh, South had a great performance last week against uh, Oakley, but the result wasn't what uh, John Anastasiades wanted. And here comes uh, Tansul Beza in their first attack for the South team, giving the ball to Demoraes, but the shot there, a missed kick uh, from uh, the Brazilian midfielder of South Melbourne, trying to cheap the bullying keeper there, Thomas Kova, but the ball going well over the bar. No threat there for the Zebras. South Melbourne again attacking. As you can see, a very wet uh, pitch here at the Bob Jane Stadium. And it's South Melbourne putting the early pressure on the visitors. The cross there coming from the right-hand side from uh, Scott McNichol. Unable to get at the end of it was Vaughan Coveney, the captain of South Melbourne. A cold night here at the Bob Jane Stadium with a lot of rain prior to the game which uh, probably might uh, make uh, the movement of the players of both teams a bit difficult. Great control there from uh, George Tiptis, who's uh, come onto the starting lineup for South Melbourne. And Fernando de Moraes trying to chip the ball there for Scott McNichol, but uh, Dracos doing his defensive duties for the visitors. As you can see, the ball just uh, staying on the turf there. De Moraes, great move for De Moraes, the shot, and forcing uh, Thomas Kova making the first save for the night but a great shot there for Demarais and we know how tricky those shots can get when the pitch is wet Bulleen Zebras now losing possession on this right hand side as uh, South now with Oliveira taking the shot there and as you can see like we said before the keeper this time unable to handle the shot from Oliveira which gives uh, the home team an early lead here tonight at the Bob Jane Stadium with Oliveira 25-yard shot there from uh, the South Melbourne player and unable to hold the ball was Thomas Kova. So it's 1-0 for South Melbourne. Bulleen trying to come back into the game and the rain falling here at the Bob Jane Stadium as Bulleen Zebras pushing forward. They're looking for that equaliser. And dispossessed there was uh, the Bulleen players. As you can see, great work there from uh, Tansul Beza. Bulleen Zebras now in the middle of the park with uh, Harbison trying to play that uh, through ball looking for Steve Martin and a free kick there spotted by the referee bit of a push there from uh, Dino Lubicic on the Bulleen players free kick now for Bulleen Zebras they're down by one goal to nil the shot taken there and Anastasiades having no problems with that one as you can see the ball spinning Anastasiades putting his body behind the ball but it's uh, Bulleen after the goal scored by South Melbourne earlier on they're pushing forward uh, dangerous cross that one but good clearance from the South Melbourne defense as Harbinson controlling the ball for the Bulleen Zebras to put some pressure here on this uh, South Melbourne defense the shot there and it's one all what a cracking shot that one was from Steve Martin he's got a great left foot and he makes no mistake there the Bulleen halfback controlling the ball and just taking his chances like Oliveira did in the fifth minute and beating Dean and Slasiades. So we have South Melbourne, Bulleen Zebras, one all. Tataglia with a free kick there, Anastasiades, a great catch there from the South Melbourne keeper. But again, Tataglia and the deflection there nearly causing a few problems to Dean Anastasiades, who was well on top of that. The long clearance there from the experienced South Melbourne keeper Vaughan Coveney trying to get to the end of it and he does. Coveney with a cross there. Just a cross goals and Demoraes just taking a bit too long to get to that one. Thomas Kova just doing enough to get to the ball. Coveney more than likely tried a shot there but Kova just grabbing the ball in front of uh, Demoraes. But it's Steve Martin, the scorer so far for Bulleen, just missed kicking that corner. And nearly creating problems in the South Melbourne defence. Another long shot there. The problems here for South Melbourne, but the shot there, it was Ben Harbinson, the player that could have easily given Bulleen the lead in this game. But the ball well over Dean Anastasiades' bar. 
and South Melbourne living a bit dangerously there as the ball's played in the middle of the park now South Melbourne pushing forward Vaughan Coveney beating with his uh, great speed his opponents and crossing the ball on the other side and it's 2-1 for South Melbourne and it's that man again Andreas Oliveira at the back of that cross from Vaughan Coveney but a great run there from the South Melbourne captain on the right hand side and a pinpoint cross finding Oliveira who was unmarked in the heart of the bullying defence and giving Kova no chance making it 2-1 uh, South Melbourne pushing forward again. Coveney's done a lot of running in these first 45 minutes. Sirtis twisting and turning. Tries his luck there and the ball just goes wide. But not a bad opportunity there for South Melbourne to make a 3-1 just before half time. Sirtis great skill there from the South Melbourne player. Taking on the Bulleen defence but the final shot just going wide. In spite of the attempt there from uh, Thomas Kova. And here we have it viewers, it's the first 45 minutes here at a very wet Bob Jet Stadium that finds the home team South Melbourne leading Bulleen Zebras by two goals to one. And we're back again ladies and gentlemen with highlights from the second half here at the Bob Jet Stadium. South Melbourne with two goals by Oliveira leading Bulleen Zebras who equalised earlier on with uh, Steve Martin. Not a lot of people here tonight at the Bob Jan Stadium. A very wet and cold night. But three goals so far. And both teams playing attractive open soccer. So we more than likely will see a few more goals scored in the second half. Tansel Beza not clearing the ball as he would have liked to. Giving the opportunity now to Taglia. Throwing the through ball there. Looking for Harbinson who scored in an offside position. Great through ball there, but two players of uh, the Bulleen Zebras there in an offside position. It's South Melbourne's turn now. They're pushing forward. Sam DeVito. Good cross there from DeVito. The clearance, not a convincing one from uh, the Bulleen Zebras. The South Melbourne players are peeling for a free kick there, but uh, Bulleen get the ball out of the half very quickly. Steve Martin now trying to combine there with Harbinson. He's got Beza in front of him, trying to twist and turn there. It's rather Peter Kotopoulos, the player that was behind that ball. And it's very hard to distinguish the numbers in these Bulleen Zebras uh, shirts. And it's Oliveira now, the man who scored two goals so far. Trying to through ball there, looking for Coveney. Coveney having two defenders onto him, but it's still South Melbourne. Sirtis trying the long shot there. But the ball going well wide, no problems this time for Thomas Kova. But again, Coveney and Oliveira combining and causing a lot of problems in the Bulleen Zebras uh, defensive lineup. Demarais, the Brazilian, with the free kick for South Melbourne. And it was uh, Lubisic, uh, the player, unable to get the header. But it's still with South. Tansil Beza, another cross towards the Bulleen half, and a great clearance there by Thomas Kova, the card coming out there and let's see what happened and the referee showing the red card to the South Melbourne defender Andreas Oliveira was rather Dino Glubisic over there getting in the way of Kova and already having received a yellow card so South Melbourne here at Bob Jan Stadium having to play the rest of the game with 10 players as Kotopoulos on the right hand side tries to cross there looking for Steve Martin but Demarais just clearing the ball away from Dino Anastasiadis half. It could have been an equaliser there for Bulleen Zebras had there been a black and white shirt. But it was Demarais, the Brazilian, who cleared the ball. And now it's Coveney who provided the assist uh, to Oliveira in the second goal scored by the South Melbourne team. Antonio Adas nearly getting into trouble there, forcing the corner. Good pressure there from the South Melbourne skipper, forcing the ball to go out of play. Dracos. Harbinson twisting and turning there amongst all the blue shirts around him. Playing the ball for Kotopoulos. A good cross there from Kotopoulos. And Asasiades missing the ball there, but luckily for him again, his defense doing their duties. And Asasiades there trying to fist the ball away, but it's so hard in these conditions tonight at the Bob Jan Stadium for keepers. So South Melbourne still leading by two goals to one. The Zebras pushing forward now. They're really trying hard to come back into the game. 
Of course, they've got the numerical advantage over South Melbourne. Another cross from the right-hand side from Kotopoulos, who is creating a few problems on the left-hand side of the South Melbourne defence. Coveney now, looking for some support. Plays a long ball all the way to the other side, finding Demoraes. A slow, patient build-up from South Melbourne, looking for that opening of the Bulleen defence as they push forward. And nearly an own goal there it was uh, the pressure from uh, Certes on the Bulleen defence. As you can see, Certes and uh, Coveney there, but it was uh, the boot of, it looked to be, Tataglia, the player, just clearing the ball for a corner. And it will be South Melbourne with uh, Certes taking this corner. The ball floated into Bulleen's half, and it's 3-1 uh, for South Melbourne. A corner that went past the line. Now, whether it will, award, will be awarded to Coveney or the player taking the corner, it looked to me it was Oliveira and not Tiftis. The ball over there, fumbling by the goalkeeper, and it's 3-1. And the goal awarded to South Melbourne, and it was Oliveira. The corner from Oliveira that swung past Kova. So South Melbourne now breathing, in spite of the fact that down to 10 men. They've got the two-goal cushion against Boleyn, and they're pushing forward. They're looking for another one. Coveney trying to combine again with Oliveira, playing the ball out wide. The cross from McNichol. Boleyn clearing as far as Demarais. Demarais with a shot, and it's 4-1 for South Melbourne. What a great finish there from the Brazilian. And surely making South Melbourne coming very close to three points here at the Bob Jan Stadium. Great control, and the finish from Demarais. But there won't be enough time for Bulleen. So the final score here at the Bob Jane Stadium is South Melbourne 4, Bulleen Zebras 1.